Everyone probably has realized, okay, this is great. I have TradingView. I love their charts. I can set up alerts. And now I want to automate the trades. I want, I want TradingView to take the alert and send that order or the sell to my broker. And then they realize it's not possible. TradingView does have a way to integrate with the uh, with brokers. And you'll see here, when you're actually looking at TradingView, under trading panel right here, there is a there are a bunch of brokers you can connect to. But basically, that, that connection can be for live accounts. Um, but they will have to trade essentially manually. Manually, you can set up limit orders to buy or sell or exit a trade. But there's no automation in this process, okay? So there's no way to actually get those trades automatically sent from alerts in TradingView to our broker. So let me show you how we do it. All right, now, if you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. Be sure to ask any questions you have and reach out to us. There's a lot of stuff in the description. And this is the overall goal. To make this 100% automated, you take TradingView, we introduce a third party called Traders Post, and it sends the orders to right now to two different uh, brokers that are options. Broker one is TraderBait, broker two is tr TradeStation. We have a lot of experience with TradeStation, and that's what this uh, this this that's what I'm going to go over right now. I'm going to show you how to set it up with the TradeStation, but the important thing is how we do it in TradingView because we're talking about those alerts, right? And a lot of you might have experience with TradingView alerts. Uh, but I'm going to uh, go over that right now. Okay, so we always start with a trading view strategy like this one here. Uh, here's our strategy right up here. As you can see here, if you go to strategy tester, you're going to see results. Like this is what our results would look like on this strategy uh, between the year 2000 and the year 2024. Uh, like this strategy produced about 1,271% returns of, with a almost a little less than 15% drawdowns. And again, this is over 24 years, but that's what okay, you start with the strategy. And then you're saying to yourself, I want to automate this strategy. I want to get those orders over to my broker automatically. Okay. So this is what we would do. We go up to, you go, and again, if you're using any other indicator or strategy, there's going to be a little bit different uh, setting changes or, or, you know, settings. And the process is, could be slightly different, but this is what you're going to do. You're going to click on that edit or that, that setting button in the inputs. Some of the strategies will strategies will have JSON. If you scroll down in the inputs, you're going to see some JSON uh, messages. You can enter them there. Okay. And that's for your JSON. Now this JSON is just code. Uh, this happens to be in this case, it happens to be trading MNQ, which is a micros uh, NASDAQ. Um, mini contracts or micro contracts uh but that that's you're going to find that in the inputs okay of the strategy uh, not all strategies have that so you might have to go through that in this way which is you go to the alerts you, you right click anywhere you are inside of the chart and then yeah you would right click and then click on alert and then you would go up to here to the settings you would create you would there's a drop down. If you have multiple indicators or strategies, this is a strategy. And again, there's a distinction between strategies and indicators on trading, trading view. Okay. So this is a strategy because we can actually view those back tests. And anyway, we, we create, we make sure that's selected in our condition drop down. We, this is our message that we would want to have in our strategy. Uh, the message here. But again, it, sometimes if you're using another strategy, sometimes you just load the, the JSON uh, code in here, but each will have a little bit different variations. Okay, so this is how we would create it. We would uh, select create. Uh, oh, actually, before we do create, what we're going to do, we're going to go up to notifications. We're going to make sure in the webhook, we're gonna, we have to get a webhook, a URL, webhook URL from Traders Post. That's our third party that we use. Um, and I'm going to show you here. Here's Traders Post. And in the in the description, we have a link so you can actually access Traders Post, see what it's all about. But it's a good third party that connects TradingView to 
brokers so you can do the auto trading. Here's an example of a webhook um, section here. Uh, you would click on view, you'd grab a webhook. So th this is kind of a big overview, but you would basically get the, the webhook from Traders Post. You go back into TradingView, you put it into the notification sections for the, the webhook URL. You would create, uh, or, and then we would select create, and that's that's it. I mean, the, basically, again, high level view is trading view to trade traders post. Okay, that the signal the alert goes to traders post, and then the signal to buy or sell goes to your other brokers. In this case, it's TradeStation. And here's how that traders post order looks like when it gets that alert, then it sends it to the TradeStation ordering. Uh, the order book. Okay. That's how we do it. Be sure to look in the description for that Traders Post link. You can learn about them. But also, if you want access to our strategy in TradingView, please, again, look in that description. You'll see how you can access that. And if you like what we're doing here, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. We're going to be going over our journey at the, you know, being the, you know, we're basically the Brothers Automated Trading Group. My brothers and I have created this for you. And we're on this journey and we'd like you to be on it with us. Take care, everybody.